All right, welcome to the after work video. So I need to leave uh, in about 45 minutes, uh, no longer than an hour. So um, this is the only shot I got to um, get my informal and formal practice done for today. So if we look at uh, of what I All right, uh, to did in the last video, we can see that I've got my readings to get through and then I've got my informal and my formal. So uh, let's uh, let's start with the informal. Well, let's start with the formal actually because the formal is uh, contains the instructions for the informal. Okay, so now let's see what we got for. Oh, <laughs> so we've got uh, yoga one for the informal, but I'm I the thing I'm going to tonight uh, will have some exercise. So I think I'm just gonna do a body scan instead. Um, I just, just want to keep things easy because tonight I'll be uh, exercising. Okay, so there we go, and I can knock that off uh, right now. Um, I am uh, interested in getting the informal out of the way. The informal is uh, before you go to bed, record and call and, and record one communication experience. So I want to keep this uh, channel uh, as far from work as possible. So um, th this might be better to save uh, the informal until tomorrow where uh, I have uh, a communication experience uh, from this thing I'm doing tonight but um, you know what so I do need I do need six entries so uh, I, I guess I do need a third entry um, so I can think about um, I can think about uh, yesterday and um, I guess uh, Okay, so I had I had a, a communication with with uh, I had a brief doctor's appointment yesterday. So communication with doctor, um, and then uh, what did you want from them, or how did you want to be treated? I want to discuss my uh, health and medications. Uh, what did you actually get? Um, uh, I got I got a um, uh, correction on my uh, on my uh, number of uh, of um, units on or, or a correction of my number of of uh, pills on my prescription which was nice I'm not sure if I'm doing this exercise properly uh, what do you think the other person wanted uh, to deliver great service be it be a good doctor <laughs> all right um, how do you feel before and out uh, relief definitely a lot of relief and then what do you notice now? Uh, uh, fe felt really heard. I have a great doctor. So that's kind of the best I can do. Um, I can't really do one. So, you, you know, the, the, if, if I did this secretly off camera uh, for work stuff, it would probably be very helpful. But as I said, I, I want to keep that off this uh, public channel. Um, I do want at some point to um, kind of not make as many videos and just do things as I need to do them <laughs> rather than making a big production about it and putting it out on YouTube. But, uh, but for now, I, I think this is good enough. So let's get the formal out of the way. Okay, so the formal I'm going to choose is the uh, body scan meditation. I'm going to keep it as, as easy on myself as possible because I have an active uh, day. So, oh, right. So you can, you can choose whichever one. So you have to go to the, the um, practices here and then choose the one you want to do. So I'm going to do the body scan. This body scan meditation is designed to bring greater awareness and attunement to body. 
break before I do this, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. This body scan meditation is designed to bring greater awareness and attunement to body and to mind. We will be doing this in a state of relative physical stillness, so it's best to arrange a time and a place in which you'll be comfortable and you won't be disturbed. Dressing in loose and comfortable clothing, which won't restrict your waist or your breathing. This meditation is usually done lying on the back, but it can be done in any posture that's comfortable and easy for you. It can be done in a rug, a mat, or a bed, or it can even be done in a reclining chair. You may want to use a light covering to help stay warm, and a flat pillow can be helpful for the head if it's more comfortable that way. If you are lying on your back, letting your arms lie alongside your body, palms up towards the ceiling if that's comfortable for you, heels on the floor, allowing your your feet to fall away from each other. And as you are lying here, allowing yourself to notice whatever comes up in your awareness, simply accepting what is happening in the body and the mind, experiencing it clearly and as it is in this moment. Noticing where your body makes contact with the floor or the mat. You may have sensations of touch or pressure on your heels, your calves, your legs or buttocks, your upper back, your arms. And as you're becoming aware of these sensations, bring your awareness now to the fact that you're breathing. Noticing the actual physical sensations of breath. And as you take air in, your diaphragm moves to allow your abdomen to to move up and expand a little bit. And as you breathe out, the abdomen flattens out. Just noticing the rhythm of your breath and as it moves your belly. There may be slight movements of your chest. You may be aware of how the air enters through your nostrils. And through your windpipe and into your lungs. Allowing that natural movement of your breath to continue without really having to do anything about it at all. There's a tendency to want to control the breathing when we bring attention to it, just noticing how it is, whether it's short or fast or long and deep. Just allowing it to move at its own rhythm. When you're ready on your next in-breath, allowing the breath that comes in and fills the lungs and moves your belly up, imagining that your entire body is hollow and accepts the air as it comes in through the lungs. And so the body accepts the air through the nostrils and into the lungs, imagining it going all the way down, down into the belly and into the legs, all the way down to the toes. Bring your awareness to your right big toe. Simply noticing what's present there as you move your attention to that part of your body. You may notice tingling or temperature or coolness or throbbing. Or you may not be aware of anything at all 
as your attention is on your right toe. And just being aware, if that's the case, just being aware that that's where your attention is. Allowing your awareness to include both big toes, your right big toe and your left big toe both. Noticing it's possible to have your attention on one or the other, or to hold a, a space of attention that encompasses both. And when you're ready, moving your attention from the big toes to include the little toes. Just seeing how the quality of your attention shifts as you move your awareness to just your little toes. And maybe now noticing the toes in between. You can imagine your breath moving all the way down through your body, all the way down to your your toes of both feet. And as you breathe out, allowing your awareness to move from your toes to the balls of your feet, that part of your foot that pivots and allows you to, to walk smoothly. And whatever you may be noticing there is just what you're noticing right now. There's no right or wrong feeling or sensation to have. Allowing your awareness of the balls of your feet to to dissolve as you move your awareness to include the whole flat part of your foot all the way down to the to the heel it's that long triangular area that meaty part of your foot that has contact with the ground as you walk And noticing just where your heel may be touching the the mat or the the floor right now. And letting your awareness move to the ankles. Including the muscles that are the ligaments and the bones that are in the ankle, as well as the entire circumference from your Achilles tendon all the way up and around to the top. And the surface of the skin to the inner parts of the ankle that allow your your foot foot and your ankle to move so smoothly and support you as you're walking. And imagining your breath going down into that area of your of your legs and your ankle. And on your next out breath, moving your awareness to the calves of your legs. The area between your knees and your ankles. including the meeting part, meaty part that may be touching the mat or the floor. And 
and the muscles or tendons that run alongside the shin. So allowing into your field of experience whatever may be present for you as you have your attention on the calves and on the shin area. And when you're ready, moving your awareness to your knees, including the back of the leg, the kneecap itself, the joint inside, the skin around the whole circumference. Just being receptive to whatever sensation you may notice in this part of your body. And moving from your knees to your thighs, and the large muscles of your quads, extend between your knees and your hips. Noticing the areas that have contact with the ground and the floor. the parts that are the upper part of your of your thighs and being aware of the entire circumference of your of your thighs around the top and along the bottom side the muscles and tendon and bone interior to the thigh, seeing what it mean what it's like to have your awareness in this part. You may feel weight or throbbing or heaviness or tingling or pressure. It's whatever it comes to awareness. This is a part of the body where you might, if you pay attention, you might even be aware of your, the throbbing from your heartbeat. And as you're ready to do this, moving your awareness higher to the hip, pelvic area, buttocks where they touch the mat or the floor, And moving your awareness from the pelvic area to the lower back. Including the sides and the front. being aware of how the movement of breath affects this part of your body. As on each in-breath, your belly expands a little bit. And 
and the out-breath, it flattens somewhat. And seeing if it's possible to maintain awareness of your breathing and how it's physically moving with your abdomen all the way from in-breath through the pause at the end of the in-breath as you're ready to go the other direction through the out-breath. And all the way through. Noticing how the expansion and contraction affects the sensations of, of on your skin from clothes or from pressure. Any internal sensations you may be experiencing right now? Bring your awareness higher in your body to the area of the diaphragm and both above and below that where some of the internal organs are and then your lower rib cage, your middle back. If as we do this, this exercise, if you're noticing any holding or tension in any part of your body, just noticing that that's there. Letting your breath move through that part of your body if your breath is affecting it. Imagine your breath going into that part of your body. Imagine it leaving at its own rhythm. And when you're ready, bring your attention, your awareness to into the cavity of your chest your rib cage, around your upper back where it touches the mat or the floor. And appreciating in this area the lungs that supply oxygen and provide for the rhythm of the breathing. Noticing just how the chest may be expanding or contracting just slightly with each breath. Being aware of how the entire torso area moves very subtly with each in-breath and out-breath and the pause between. And appreciating that within this chest cavity, your heart and your lungs all working there. Your lungs nestled, nestled around the heart. Being aware of how 
Your shoulders may be affected with the movement of breath. including your upper shoulders, the sides, the upper back, moving your awareness from the shoulders themselves to where they attach to your neck sensing into those areas of connection, starting from a broad base to the top of the shoulders, narrowing to the neck itself. Bring awareness to the movement that's that's happening in the neck area, the movement of air. With your next in-breath, allowing your awareness to move from your shoulders through your upper arms all the way down to your fingertips. From the forefinger all the way to the little finger You may be including your thumb as well. Imagine your breath going all the way down, right to the fingertips as you breathe in. Imagine the breath going back out from that area and shifting your attention now to the to the joints of your fingers and then to the knuckles Moving from the knuckles to the back of the hands. And the palms of the hands. To that meaty part of the hand. The base of where your thumb connects to your hand itself. The side of your hand both interior and exterior awareness. Awareness of skin. Any sensations you may be noticing interior to your hand. Shifting your awareness to your to your wrists.
moving to your lower arms. Extending from the wrist all the way to the elbow. And your elbows. And moving your focus from your elbows to your upper arms. And back up into the shoulders. and the base of the neck. And moving from the base of the neck to the to your jaw. your throat area, including sensations you may have of your, of your the interior of your mouth, the tongue, how it rests within your mouth. the inner part of the cheeks, the palate, the top part of your mouth, Ready, shifting to your to your gums and your lips. And being aware your lips have both an interior part and an exterior part. Moving to the cheeks, to the nose and the nostrils. Noticing here how the breath comes in through the nostrils and how it leaves. Moving to include the eyes themselves and the muscles around the eyes in the upper cheek, in the eyebrow, in the corners of the eyes. That whole area that your eyes are supported by and and they're resting in. Then moving to the brow above the eyebrows.
the entire scalp area from your brow across the top of the head and all the way down to the ears. And when you're ready, sensing into the entire body, from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, allowing and noticing whatever sensation may appear as you include all of the body head and shoulders, arms, torso, buttocks. All right. And and unfortunately, this is the first time I've ever done this, but it's it's been a half an hour. We got 2 minutes to go, but I have to end it early. I just really really have to uh go to the bathroom even though I just went right before uh starting it. Um, typically I I do have to go about every half an hour because I'm uh drinking a lot of water. Um right now uh more than i would usually drink so uh had to end early for the first time time uh with two minutes to go um uh have to go to the bathroom can't uh ignore the feeling uh although i can write this and end the video which is interesting but finishing the scan was too much for me to bear yeah so it's kind of interesting that i i can actually we kind of delay things and and write out this comment save it close it um and i'm fine doing that but i i guess it was just the laying down position that kind of was not working for me as as i stood up uh it is uh it, it feels a lot less urgent but anyways that's it for for this video um so thanks for watching see you in the next one